Shakina. 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 There you go. <laughs> How many ways can you pronounce what is Shakina Glory? So, you know me and my word studies. I went to a YouTube video for someone that speaks Hebrew and I was like, how do you say Shekinah? And that's how they said it because it actually is not a, a biblical word. It's not found anywhere in the Bible, mm -hmm. but it's an extra biblical word that ancient Jewish rabbis ascribed to describe, okay, the word Shekhan, which is a Hebrew word that literally means to dwell. and. They made it into a hyphal form. So hyphal forms, they exist in the Hebrew grammar system to turn something into a causative action, like with an active voice. So Shekhan was a noun and they made it into Shekinah, which actively meant God dwelling with us. Wow. And that is what Shekinah glory, in essence, yeah. summarized very shortly is, yeah, yeah. is the presence of God. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought it was Shekinah. I did then, too. <laughs> that's the one you usually hear. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Pop, soda. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and so I think um, in Exodus 40, 35, and Moses could not enter the tent of meeting for the cloud rested. The word rested there is the Hebrew Shekhan. Mm upon it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Yeah. So we see all throughout the Old Testament references of God's glory manifesting on earth, mm -hmm. but man not being able to really face the face of God, right? Yeah. I mean, you yeah. brought up a really interesting one with yeah. Moses. Um, yeah. Well, in Exodus, when he had come down from getting the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. and his, his face was just shining because he couldn't see, couldn't look at God because he said, if you look at me, you'll die. Mm -hmm. But I will cast my glory essentially up upon you. And yeah. when Moses came down, the Israelites could see his face, that mm -hmm. it was shining. And yes. it was like the outward, you know, and actually freaked them out. He had to put yeah. a veil and cover <laughs> his face because they're like, what's going on with him? And the only time he would take it down is when he went up and would, would talk with God. But then God took me to Corinthians, which I think really tied into glory as today, right? Mm -hmm. for, for since Jesus and we have the Holy Spirit. And this is a little bit of a long scripture, but I That's feel like okay. I have to read it to get uh -huh. the full picture of, of what it's saying. Um, this is 2 Corinthians 3, verse 7. Now, if the ministry that brought death, which was engraved in letters on stone, came with glory, so that the Israelites could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of its glory, transitory though it was. And I looked up transitory because I'm like, what's that word actually mean? Mm. It's not permanent. Mm. It was mm -hmm. brief in the yep. duration. So they saw it but it didn't last, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so transitory though it was, will not the ministry of the Spirit be even more glorious? If the ministry that brought condemnation was glorious, how much more glorious is the ministry that brings righteousness? For what was glorious has no glory now in comparison with the surpassing glory. If what was transitory came with glory, how much greater is the glory of that which lasts? Mm. And it goes on, but I, I skipped down to 18 because it kind of just ties it all in quickly. Okay. <laughs> in verse 18, it says, And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the spirit. And when I read that, I thought, God, it's your glory yeah. through Jesus that you left the Holy Spirit that man can again walk in the glory of God through the Holy Spirit. Because 100%. at the time Moses, he was going, but the Israelites, they had, they were under the old law. They were right. under the old covenant with yeah. animal sacrifices. They weren't fellowshipping with God like we do, because God's in us. It's his glory that allows the Holy Spirit to live in us today. That's right. so cool that yeah. you bring that, that transitory mm -hmm. part up because mm -hmm. yeah. I'm more of that word search study that I do. So the word shikan is different than the other Hebrew word that's used throughout the Old Testament mm -hmm. for dwelling, and that's yeshav. Mm. So shikan's different in that it means to take up residence in one place for an extended period of time. Mm. So that is literally the difference the between difference. the two Hebrew phrases. Yeah. Transitory. It's funny that you picked up on that too. Yeah. 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 And it reminds me of the cloud moving, remember, because yeah. they, the cloud moved. The like, pillar of, of smoke mm -hmm. and, and fire and the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, leading the Israelites through. So I think that's also what Shekinah was at that time. Mm -hmm. He was manifesting his yeah. presence and guiding them. Um, and, but yeah. And I found it. I mean, I, can I read the scripture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's in um, Exodus actually 33. And you could start in 12, but I'm not going to go back mm -hmm. there. But in 14, it says, And the Lord replied, I will personally go with you, Moses. Mm -hmm. I will give you rest and everything will be fine with 
for you. Then Moses said, if you don't go with us personally, don't let us move a step from this place. If you don't go with us, how will anyone ever know that your people and I have found favor with you? How else will they know that we are special and distinct from all the other people on the earth? And the Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked, for you have found favor with me, and you are my friend. And then Moses had one more request. Please let me see your glorious mm -hmm. presence, mm -hmm. he said. And the Lord rep replied, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will call out my name, the Lord, to you. And I will show kindness to anyone I choose, and I will show mercy to anyone I choose. But you may not look directly at my face, mm -hmm. for no one may see me and live. And the Lord continued, stand here on this rock beside me as my glorious presence passes by, and I will put you in the cleft of the rock and cover you yeah. with my hand until I have passed. Mm -hmm. Then I will remove my hand, and you will see me from behind but my face will not be seen. That's what she said. Yes, <laughs> yeah, Amen. yes. Amen. Yeah. It was a pretense to that. And I think that because of that time, we see glory, even today, we see glory in creation. You know, they saw the essence, mm. I don't like to word, use the word essence, but I think of God in a spirit, mm -hmm. for instance, when we can't see him, it's his essence yeah. that we see manifest in the earth through yes. creation. Yes. And Everything, everything yeah. that he does, everything that we see. And <clears throat> I liked the amplified um, version of Second Corinthians. And we all with unveiled face continually seeing as in a mirror the glory of the Lord. When yeah. we look at ourselves now, we are looking at the glory of God because yeah. we are created in his image. And we are seeing the face of from God. From a glory to, to a, glory. a glory. So there's yeah. that transitory, right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. constantly yeah. transforming. And another cool thing about word search. Um, it also means royalty or royal residence mm -hmm. because Ooh. there's a Greek word called yeah. skein, which they believe mm -hmm. could, is derived from the Hebrew shikan, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. it means a royal dwelling. Mm -hmm. And the word tabernacle in Hebrew is mishkan, and it is a derivative of the same root, root. shikan, mm -hmm. and it's also used in the sense of a dwelling place. Mm -hmm. And we know about the tabernacle in the wilderness, which mm -hmm. is the very beginning of a normal place yeah. that would be a place that you would expect God's presence to arrive. And in classic Jew Jewish thought, um, Shekinah refers to a dwelling or a setting in a special place so that you're in proximity mm. to the Shekinah glory. The connection to God is more readily perceivable in those places yes. at that time, That's tabernacle right. or That's temple, right? right? Mm -hmm. But even then there was a veil. The holies of holies was separated and it wasn't accessible to everyone. You had to be a high priest. You yeah. had to go through all these Levitical rites, mm -hmm. you know, and even then, Sometimes people would die in there, yeah, you know. Exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, really. Can you imagine? No. And that's where it's like when you ask the question, where does Shekinah manifest itself today? And you bring up all of these amazing points because of Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. like Jesus was the change it all moment. Yeah, he was. You know what I mean? Yeah. He really did because first of all, he was Shekinah glory mm -hmm. in the flesh right. on earth. Him as a man. Yes, that's was right. the glory manifested. That's like what? what? You know? Yeah, yeah. And then when he died on the cross and paid the price for our sins mm -hmm. and his blood redeemed us, yeah. what happened? The veil tore in the temple right. in Jerusalem. Yeah. And that's what redeemed man mm -hmm. from being separated from God forever. Mm -hmm. And when he ascended, he said, it is best that I leave you. Mm -hmm. Because they were like, don't go, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. normal, right? <laughs> yeah. And right. he's like, no, I have to because I'm gonna send you the helper yeah. and it will be better, better. for you. Because Amen. like you said, Holy Spirit, Amen. he dwells within us. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's just a within. I think that Shekinah glory will also manifest when you are standing in agreement, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I think it's Matthew. I have it. Um, doo -doo -doo. It says that when there's more than two or three gathered together, there I am in the midst, Matthew yeah. 18, 20. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus being Shekinah glory, promising that he's in the midst of that, like acts of public prayer and worship. I mean, yeah. how many times have you felt Holy Spirit just like come in like a heavy tidal wave when you're yeah. in a communal worship yes. gathering, yeah. 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 right? Well, and that's where when, when we say glory is in everything, it's also giving glory yes. to God. It's not just seeing it, but it's also glorifying being it and glorifying it. He's awesome. He's he's sovereign. Mm -hmm. He's you know etc cetera, etc. Cetera. And also in healing, like mm. the acts that we see, the physical things, all of that brings glory to God. Whatever yeah. is edification to God. I see his glory, right? Amen. 
Amen, amen. And giving him thanks yeah. and gratitude yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for all he has done. Absolutely. But I love how you said, too, in the sunrise, how you can oh, yeah. see. I mean, oh, yeah. He's I know, God is such an awesome artist. I mean, like, yeah. there well, is. Well, the work yeah. of his hands Ooh. is the sky, right? And so, like, when you think of Shekinah glory, or mm -hmm. especially OT, it was a, oftentimes fire or a cloud or a mm -hmm. mist. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you see the sun hovering just over a massive body of water like the ocean, you just feel so finite, yeah. like in an yeah. infinite presence yeah. And yeah. I can definitely say that that's a moment where but you know also like you said we're transforming like looking into a mirror mm -hmm. from a glory to a glory so Jesus Christ I mean that's what we're supposed to be seeing in the mirror right like yeah. as much as we are abiding in him as the vine mm -hmm. and, and it says in Colossians 2 9 that Christ is the fullness of the deity living mm -hmm. in a bodily form mm -hmm. so that's what confirms like he was and is Shekinah glory that's right. and even John in the beginning was the word logos right Mm -hmm. And the word was with God and the word was God and all things were made by him and without him, nothing that was made. John 1, 1 through 2. Mm -hmm. We know Jesus is the word. That's Jesus right. is the logos. Mm -hmm. Jesus, prior to his appearance on earth, Jesus was the Shekinah glory. That's right. Eternal. That's right. You know, that's right. and that's the Shekinah glory that created the earth. Yeah. Because it says that all things were made by him and without him, nothing that was made. So the Shekinah glory is actually the substance of what creation became. And that's why I think when we sit in moments of reverence mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. just, you know, the works of his hands in the sky, yeah. or maybe your spot is a mountain, or maybe yeah. you're, you know, a trail person and you just love to be strong, whatever that is, that's like a reminder. Yeah. Amen, amen, yes. <laughs> Well, so. I love how in w the scripture that I had read earlier, you know, about just wanting to hear his voice and, and asking him for guidance mm -hmm. because I don't want to move. I mean, I pray every day, Lord, help me to clearly hear your voice, what to do, what not to do, where to go mm -hmm. or not to go, because yeah. I, I want that divine direction. I, mm -hmm. And I pray that for my children and my grandchildren, mm -hmm. that, yeah. that they would hear his voice. You know, in these times, we really need the discernment and we need yeah. to hear... We don't want to step out and, and do something, you know, that's outside of the will. I mean, he, thank God for his grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. And he covers us even when we do mess up. But, mm -hmm. you know, just hearing his voice and how many times, you know, he has been in, in our lives. And sometimes we don't even know it. You know, yeah. he's protected us. And I know you've been in, I can remember you were in a really bad accident right before Zach was born. Mm -hmm. And you got T-boned in a car in Miami, but... Mm -hmm. You were fine, and the ba Zach was still, yeah. he was yeah. a baby in your womb, and he was fine. He definitely goes before us, yeah. behind us, yes, all around yeah, us. That's a word, right? Yeah. And yeah. so I believe that that is also Sha Shekinah, Shekinah glory. glory. And, yeah. uh, you know, Paul tells us in Hebrews 13, 5, that he will never leave us. That's right. And so there's the promise, like that Shekinah glory is dwelling in you and within you. And the word leave that is used there by Paul in the Greek is aniami, and it literally means to tightly embrace. Mm. So if you read that in a different way, it's like he will never stop embracing us. Yeah, and his Holy Spirit is known as what? The comforter, in addition right. to the helper. Yeah. And so although his like physical body is not here, it's in heaven, right? His earthly presence, the Shekinah glory, remains to dwell with us, to embrace us, and to comfort us. Amen. Amen. And I think that's the part that we have a hard time because we're we're, you know, human man, human body. So our brains are kind of like this, you know, this doesn't make sense. But really, the glory is the merging of I don't want to say spirit man, but if you don't know God, you're not in the spirit yet, mm -hmm. right? You're just, you're in the flesh. And the Bible talks about mm -hmm. human man. But the glory that Jesus brought with the Holy Spirit is the merging of the man and the Holy Spirit because we're the temple. Right. We're the temple of the Holy Ghost, right? Yes. And so it gives us a new revelation to think of like, okay, I have glory in me because of him. So if I'm looking for glory or I'm looking for something of, look in the mirror. Yeah. You know, and, and sometimes we get off where we're like, okay, God, show me your glory. Well, look at yourself. Look, you're a vessel that I've created for my glory to mm. be used. And sometimes we kind of just pass that off like it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And yet we're a new creation in Christ Jesus. We're the greatest glory that God can use, mm -hmm. right? For his glory. Yeah, his he needs us. Glorify. Yeah, he needs me glorifying yeah. him. We are the greatest of that. And so it kind of, it humbles you to thank God that You've of all things, me. you've chosen <laughs> us to, <laughs> yeah. to, to carry this yeah. glory, you know, to, um, to talk your word, to, to pro pro proclaim your name, you know. And I don't know, that puts it in a real different, like when you read from Moses to New Testament, yeah. like God 
what Jesus really came and what he represented and what the Holy Spirit brought through through God's glory. It's like, poof, yeah, and so much more than I feel like we fathom at times. Oh, for you know? sure. It is because we can't possibly. I mean, no. God is a transcendent, uncreated God. He yeah. created everything else, right? Yeah. So for us to say that our created minds are able to conceive no. something like Shekinah glory. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. is just a study. It's a compository. We're doing our best yeah. Yeah. because we are thirsty to yeah. understand you know, this yeah. stuff. And it's not wrong to ask questions yeah. like this. I mean, Mm-mm. I used to think like if it's not in the Bible, you know, and then I shouldn't even question it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, but Shekinah glory, I mean, it comes comes from the rabbinical Jew, the the rabbis and it was in between the old testament being composed and then like Jesus being yeah. here yeah. and you know Jesus used to quote oral tradition from the Jewish rabbis he used to quote it in mm-hmm. the temple and so that became the talmud and those are the rabbis that coined mm-hmm. this term and yeah. so sometimes i feel like we get a little legalistic because yeah. we're like you know and as christians we don't like things that are mystical right, right. but to be honest the guys that named this term there were mystical rabbinical Jews, yeah, right. you know? <laughs> yeah. And so sometimes yeah. it's just like, it's worth doing the research. And this is why I, I chose like Shekinah for us because I've always been curious and yeah. I've heard it used in the body, mm-hmm. but I never saw it when I was reading. reading but through. then when I learned the word Shekhan and I learned the Hebrew and the Greek words mm-hmm. that these people were using and how this became that mm-hmm. word, mm-hmm. I was like, oh. oh. Yeah, it's like the lights <laughs> went on. It took work, but yeah. I figured it out, yeah. you know? <laughs> when, when I I hear that word, you know, Shekinah glory, Shekinah, Shekinah. I think of fire, you know, yeah, like, yeah. And, and a lot of times it's represented. And and for me, I mean, it's like fire's hot, you yeah, know, like yeah. you don't want to touch no, the fire. No. And if the we would sing these songs, you know, oh Lord, let your let your fire fall, let your glory fall. And sometimes I think, oh Lord, how <laughs> yeah, please don't burn me. Uh, you know, I think of <laughs> Ananias, Rose and Sapphira, you know, and yeah. the the, the fire was, came down and they were gone so you know like you know all of a sudden we've all fallen short of the glory of God and but for his grace and mercy but you know I know that the Lord has saved you also Audrey and Mm -hmm. uh, some of the people out there listening might not know you are used to be a racer chick and race race (laughs) go-karts and I'm sure uh, you had told me once about something yeah so if you would share that little story with us there was a couple of moments for sure when I was racing I would the Lord would say you need to get off the gas or there was going to be a major accident, you know, and I had, I had gone through a season. I got whiplash and it actually put me out. That was it. After that, I was done for the season and never really got back into it competitively. But to say that I didn't see God's glory in that. Oh, I did Mm. in times of where I was starting on the track and I felt the Holy Spirit, you know, tell yeah. me where to be and not to be. Cause there were times there were bad accidents. I had to get out of it, you know? The so, discernment. <laughs> yeah. The discernment piece mm-hmm. of that was there so many times. Mm-hmm. And so I, I think when we look at it in that, cause we get really, um, legalistic, like you were saying with, Oh, glory. It's like, no, it really isn't all that we do. It's, it's God. It's, it's, our life, it's our work. It's not just church or, you know, this Mm -hmm. or that it's in everything we do. And I always, I don't want to say laugh at the song, but I, I I see it differently when we sing, show me your glory. Mm. And it's like, okay, God. And and we, okay, God, you can, obviously God still does signs, miracles, wonders. We can see all that. I'm not saying that, but it's like, we can't look at God. We can't see the face of God because it would probably kill us. (laughs) Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. But he says we're created in his image. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at ourselves, we are seeing, I believe the face of God, not in the sense of like the spirit, but we're seeing a part of him because he created us in his image, whatever that holy means. We should do a show. We won't probably, we we won't, I don't know that we'll ever tap into all of that. We won't, we don't understand, but he says we're created in his image. Mm -hmm. So that tells me that there must be something. If it says to look in a mirror, right? Mm -hmm. The image that we see God, and so when we start to really live in glory, I think it's in, it's in all, mm-hmm. it's in ourselves, it's in the things that we say, it's in what we do, bringing God's glory into our work and, and whatever it is, you know, mm-hmm. and it's praising him and it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And like how you said, um, seeking discernment and then asking for him to show you his will so that for each thing that you do. But I think another thing to add also is 
how can I glorify you through this? Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like it's weird because some of the things that I have to do even for work or something like that, you would think, how am I going to glorify God by posting about a baby monitor? I don't know. I'm waiting for him to show me the way because <laughs> yeah. I do believe that if you <laughs> yeah. ask him, mm-hmm. he right. can turn it all to his glory. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like his eyes are always on us. So you want your eyes on your baby. Amen. So like, That's right. You know? right. Anyway, no, it's true. And, and it might seem silly, right? Because I almost felt silly praying yeah. that, but I was just like, Lord, I, I have to do this, and I want you to show me how I can glorify you through it. Absolutely. And if I can't, then I don't really know if I want to do it, because exactly. at this point in time, I don't know how long, you know, like, like time is precious, and God is outside of time, right. but for the time that I have and the things that I have to do, setting in order with Him is the priority and glorifying Him through mm-hmm. it all. You'll be surprised some things that you can glorify Him through. You know I what know. I mean? Well, it can even be in your job. Simple. It might be a job that you hate, but how can I glorify <laughs> God? do my best, yeah. go over mm-hmm. and above. That's because God says, yeah. do it unto me, not unto man, right? right? So even if you hate your job and you hate yeah. your boss and you don't <laughs> like what you're doing and maybe they're not watching, God is. That's mm-hmm. So right. if you're still doing the best that you can and putting 100% plus, that's glorifying God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen.